guys, Yen here with Yen'sAerial.com. And I've decided, guys, to do a monthly vlog on the different avenues, who, what, when, where, all the good stuff of drone photography, imaging, videography, pretty much anything that, anything that has to do with creating beautiful things from the sky. So, very poetic, right? So, without further ado, guys, let's get to it. So, I get asked a lot by people, Yen, why should I hire a drone pilot, a licensed drone pilot? Hi, Yen. So, why would I hire a licensed drone pilot instead of just asking one of my friends to do the job for me? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've racked my mind and tried to figure out how to explain it and how to narrow it down to just some quick pointers. And honestly, guys, it falls down to just two. One is safety, guys. It's probably the most important piece of the puzzle. Safety, guys. It's very different taking a picture from ground level. It's very different, guys, when you're on the ground taking pictures of something as it is when you have a $2,000 piece of equipment flying 400 feet up in the air. There's a lot of dangers and obstacles, guys, that are up there that the lay person is not aware of wildlife trees other aircraft commercial planes personal planes helicopters remote control planes other drones so guys there's a lot of dangers up in the air that you are not aware of there's also a lot of dangers down below that one may not think about licensed pilots have taken schooling have learned have trained on how to minimize these dangers and how to adjust their flight plans around obstacles. It makes the flight much safer, guys. The last thing you want to do is having a special occasion that you're having captured on film from the air, only to find out that just because a drone pilot did not take into account an obstacle or a danger. That's one thing, guys, that really, really hits home to me. I am very, very careful, and I'm a big, big, big believer in safety above anything else. I will tell you, no, I will not fly my drone if I see that it's too dangerous. And the second point, guys, is the actual art of it. Obviously, a photographer knows how to work angles and shadows and distances and other things, guys, to make beautiful pictures and video. You get up to altitude, now you're talking about a lot of different angles, a lot of shadows that weren't there that are there now, a lot of other things that come from that. A licensed drone photographer has spent a good amount of time up in the air working and learning about these angles, learning about how to work some pictures and video. I'll give you an example. Here's a picture of just a random picture taken for, with a regular drone. Beautiful. It's, it's, a good, it's a great looking picture, yes. But now, having it professionally taken and professionally, and professionally edited, this is what you get. This is what I mean, guys. So the last thing you want, guys, is to have your wedding, graduation, a special occasion ruined because your friend who flies a drone was just up snapping pictures and not realizing certain things that you need to do to get the correct angle, the correct colors, the correct shadows. So it's not just taking a drone and throwing it up in the air, guys. It's worth doing some digging for and doing some research. Certain questions to ask is, how often do you fly? Or do you have a license? How long have you been licensed? What, what type of equipment do you use? Ask for references. See if, see if they have jobs that they've done in the past that they could show you so you have an idea. If they have a problem with you asking those questions, chances are they're, they're probably not too legit. If you have any questions, by all means, you're free to, feel free to reach out to me. I will help you however I can. So that's it for this month's vlog, guys. Thank you for watching. Please swing on by the website. I got stock pictures I got thrown up there. I got some great new videos that I popped up now. The link will be down below to the website and all of my contact information, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next month. Peace.